Hello everyone, welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger. This is episode 47 of our Let's Play The Sims Mobile. I built a beach restaurant right opposite the beach mansion that I built for Icon and Pecan. In my mind, this beach restaurant belongs to Pecan, so it's one of her businesses. And think about it, we only have four playable sims, so in some way, they own everything in my town. She's also on the board of my Wumples boarding school. <laughs> But yeah, I built this beautiful restaurant. It's small, it's cute, it's compact. And what's more interesting is I've been playing with it and was able to bring in 14 Sims, get them to sit down, eat, and just really have that um, restaurant ambience uh, as you would expect. So I'm obviously touring it in the evening in real time and wanted that touch of the night and day just before evening because it's a nighttime location. It's very beautiful back here and the surroundings are, you know, they've got a lot of depth. I really love the outdoor textures for the Sims Mobile. It's very realistic, I really do. Now, this is a one story build, was it two story? It depends on what you want to call it. Some people call it a bungalow when there's no story and then when you add one, it's one story. So forgive me, but there is an outdoor area down here for, you know, partying at nighttime, just outdoor drinks and outdoor lounging in the section over here. I'm so thankful that I have those outdoor flashing lights. You'll see them come to life when we go into life play. And as I say, I will be bringing over all my Sims to and non-playable sims to come in here and really you know have that beautiful um dining experience so as you come in to the main restaurant here as i say it's really nice and cozy deep warm oak floors you got the different textures these beautiful pillars came in the game with the current update and this is how you basically walk in now we don't have a host stand do we but I thought it would be a good idea to use the bar instead because I eventually get my sim to stand there and bartend as though they were the host, okay? And if there's no space, then they get to sit down and wait. But here is the main dining hall. I really love the way it feels in here. The textures, the bricks, the wood, the art pieces up on the wall. There are three dining spaces down here and four upstairs. They've got a great view of the garden. There's a way out there as well. And this is really interesting. I was hoping we had some sort of open windows, you know, uh, for the kitchen. But I thought these worked brilliantly. You can see inside the kitchen where the chefs are cooking. You see how they're handling the food. And the chef can also see how the tables are filling up. The restrooms are set back in a little alcove right here. And this is the way into the kitchen. Now, from this angle, you can see how there is a seating area for those who are waiting to be sat and the chef has a really good view of the entire restaurant. So from within, gosh, there's this big light. <laughs> he has a bangle on from Izzy and I just want to avoid it. It's blinding my eyes, but that's his view of the seating area and the main host stand. And of course, in his kitchen, a bit like uh, Ratatouille, you've got that gusto picture. I wanted it to go outside up front. That would be great as a signage, but it doesn't go outside, sadly. Um, he's got all these beautiful racks, this beautiful shelf here. I've got a couple of them in here. Beautiful, just beautiful. Love the pipes holding it up. And you've got that large industrial light above the cooker, as though it was an extractor of some sort. But yeah, on this side too, there's lots of texture, spoons, pots, pans, and all the things he uses to create the beautiful meals that he would serve customers, okay? And there's going to be quite a number of them coming in. So that's some sort of an overview. It's a nice little place. You haven't seen the restrooms. I mean, they're typical restrooms. Just going to drop the wall so you can have a look. They're neat, clean, the way you would expect them to be, at least they should be. <laughs> Uh, and I love the colors too, warm colors. You walk into this uh, restaurant and typically colors that are chosen are intentional to make the customer feel hungry. I heard about this and this is a true uh, statement. It's a fact, okay? So we go upstairs this way to the VIP area and I wanted it to feel a little bit more intimate. So for each corner, there is a table, some curtains. I use the Christmas lights from the Winterfest to sort of drape those curtains in a way. And it just made the area feel a little bit more exquisite. Uh, you pay a little bit more money for this seating and 
I think it's quite nice, you know, just to be sat here and have a lovely meal with a loved one. And there's a massive piano in there too. <laughs> Right, so that's the complete tour. I'm going to quickly go over to Icon and Pecan. Icon's been at work, it's very busy, and so has Pecan because she worked so hard to put this uh, restaurant together. And today is the opening of this restaurant and you're all welcome to attend, yay. <laughs> right, so we're heading to the beach house. That's where they are at the moment. And I, yeah, left them on the side having a little chat. And for a tour of this house, be sure to look in the top right hand corner of your screen for the information to take you to that. But here they are having a little chat. He's talking about his day and he's being very apologetic to peek and explaining why he was running late. He is a plastic surgeon, okay? And he has done some work on peek. And <laughs> if you notice over the years uh, since I've been playing, there have been changes to her. Chuck it to her husband fiddling around, okay? So she's also been very busy tidying up, sweeping the house. This is obviously the new house he got her. She's been trying to make sure she's a good friend, maintaining her friendship with the new lady in town, Valentina. And he also tells her about his very long and busy, tiring day. However, don't be fooled, he's one of the best uh, at what he does. And as I say, he's done some work on his wife. But no more. <laughs> That's what we say, isn't it? <laughs> we'll see about that. But yes, I got him to be a surgeon. I always wanted him to be a surgeon and finally I got the heirloom for it. And now he can do that. Okay, so they've had a little chat about their day and he's apologized for not being there, helping her put the, you know, restaurant together. But now we're going to get her dressed, get him dressed and get them down there and get them something to eat and celebrate. She's wearing the beautiful trousers from the spring ensemble pack that should be in your game right now, uh, depending on how long it's meant to be running for. But I'm changing her over into an easy outfit that's got the sunshine above her head. She's been getting a lot of sun at the beach and we will go ahead and change her hair. Makeup's already done. I'm not going to take up your time in Cass, but I definitely wanted to get her dressed. Um, I don't like that hair, to be honest. I want the curly hair. <laughs> I think she's ready and I'm just going to give her a bangle since her outfit isn't an easy bangle so I can cover that wrist and I think she's ready to go orange and red beautiful okay now we are going to accept that change and let's see what she looks like outside very nice very nice you know for a hot summer's evening or is it summer yet no <laughs> but it's warm it's warm where they are now it's his turn. Let's see if he could just have something that will just go right on what he's got on. Well, his trousers is what I meant to say. <laughs> uh, maybe this top here. Need for tweed. Um, not sure. I know they look a bit casual, but it was too casual. And this is too formal because she's wearing almost a crop top, isn't it? Um, and no, there should be something that fits the way she looks proper yet not so casual yeah I like this one I think we'll stick with it looks perfect it looks like the piece was you know a complete outfit um, with those trousers lovely so I'll just change his bangle she had the Sun and I'll give him the planets <laughs> that'd be nice yeah let's give him the planets I'm gonna save that and we shall head on over to the restaurant okay there I think it's a perfect match with the Sun above her head and the planets around him oh, they were made for each other what can I say <laughs> cheesy <laughs> okay let's go to the restaurant and let's see let's see let's get all these sims together and make it happen sometimes it doesn't work so you know but sometimes it does you know the sims decide to go off and sit other places but he's here and he's trying to make sure that the reservations are still going to be honored you know calling his friends like Langrab, valentina and so on you know he doesn't want his wife to be disappointed he wants it to be a hit so here's what i do to make sure this place fills up with sims eating make sure there's a plate on the table with food in it and then try and tap on the table and say share meal with select three sims of your choice say okay and they should all show up and have a meal so there 
very important dignitaries. <laughs> now let's start off with pecan. I know you want them all at the same table. I wanted that too, but it won't work. You won't be able to get that many sims in. So you have to use your playable sims to select other sims from around the town to come in. Otherwise you'd be short on the numbers you could pull in. So made her own selection. Here they all are. Fantastic. Sometimes only three sims would show up. So I'm having to be really careful who I call in. I'm not sure why that happens. But I need my fairy here as well. Oh wow. What is that? She's gone blue and she's in the dark even though she's here. How odd. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not going to ruin this moment. So let's quickly head to the remaining table down here and tap on it. Share meal with see Izzy always comes along uh, Lisa's good and this other lady down at the bottom <laughs> fingers crossed it'll show up and she's all right now she's not dark is she um, and I, I love this view here they are all walking in well hopefully they're not walking into each other perfect they've all arrived and look at it we now have what four eight 12 sims right sitting down and eating we've got the chef in the kitchen but this is brilliant this is brilliant they're all having a good time here now this is something you can do while playing with your sims in the restaurant you could get your chef to uh, practice his knife skills so it looks as though he's preparing more food right all the food is out there and he wants to make sure there's a steady supply coming in <laughs> my sims are overworked i could tell you that i've only got four playable sims and they have to make this restaurant work i mean pecan and icon can't even sit at a table and eat together how's that <laughs> So he's prepping that chicken, making sure it's succulent and all. Uh, and then he gets to place that down for the servers to take out, which would be me, <laughs> to the tables and the hungry customers. I'm just going to change his outfit now. He becomes a butler. His name is Ken Butler. And I promise I didn't give him that name myself. I was using the option that gives you a random sim. And as soon as I saw Ken Butler, I took it and I changed him over and, and he's he's one of my playable sims, okay? He is also the butler for Icon and Pecan at the Land Grab Mansion. And we'll see that mansion soon because it's now a, a multi-story build as well. It's, it's beautiful, I really like it. We'll see that in a different video anyway. Wow, and then, yeah, when you come out of Cass, I love that the Sims, you know, change their position and it just feels really rowdy in here, doesn't it? Okay, let's get Ken Butler to become the host for the day. So I will just click on the bar and make a drink for. Now at this point, I get to call in more Sims. This doesn't always work because I've hit the max already. One might come in, all three might come in. I don't know. It just really depends on how the game is feeling. Pleasant or moody, who knows? But I see one person coming in. I see one person <laughs> there. So yes, now he is able to say, oh, welcome to the restaurant. What would you like to have? Can you imagine? He's serving out here. He's also the one in the kitchen. I'm the server making sure the food gets to the tables. <laughs> Somehow I've made it work and I'm very happy with the way this restaurant is running. And the other thing is, I can Pecan and my fairy can all be at work at the different locations and I can still bring them over and get them to have this dinner time as well. So you could play with your Sims even though they're working. You know, you, you can do that if you want to enjoy this um, sort of gameplay. And I will go into build mode and show you the room plan so you can build it in your town on a plot. It's a very small build and it's perfect. I know Ken Butler's picture is up in the kitchen, but he doesn't really live here. He lives at the main mansion, you know, the main house where you can host parties. That's where he lives, but he works for the Browns as a butler. And this is the buffet table for this restaurant. I think I did everything I could to make sure I put in anything and everything that would make here feel like a restaurant. And I love the view they have of the back garden. Maybe they could go out there with a glass of wine and have a chat, just standing out there and enjoying the view. Now, I think we're only allowed, is it eight sims or even 12 on a plot? But as you can see, I've got quite a number here now. Uh, but this is what it looks like from outside. 
This is my way of putting the walls up to have a peek. <laughs> Quite nice. I really, really like it. I'm going to stop Peek and an Icon in particular from eating and I want them to make use of the outdoor area. So as soon as you stop them, you can see they all leave. Thank you for the meal. It was nice meeting you, blah, blah, blah. The restaurant opening was a huge success. We had Langrab, Valentina Edgewater. We had Bella Goth. I mean, Simtown royalty. So they're quite happy. They're going to have a really quick hangout. And whenever I do this, the tables outside become available for, you know, the actions. So right here, very nice. They can share a romantic dinner, play a game and so on. Depends on what you want, but I love this. So it looks as though they've come out to eat. I will have to stop the butler. Oh, look, more people came in as soon as those tables were free. Those ones I did select eventually came in for the butler performance. <laughs> okay, I want him to come out here and, you know, mind this part of the restaurant. And yeah, yeah, see? I love it. So again, let's just put those walls up and have a proper look at how it feels. So the cars driving by, lots of chatter, you know, the nightlife environment is up and running in my town. I can say that. I feel really good about it. I will stop the fairy as well because I want her to now start an event with a fairy. Well, the other fairy, <laughs> not with herself. <laughs> and yeah as usual this seat becomes available and they're going to sit down there and have a chat so you know the parties now come out here uh now that the main event is over and it's just beautiful they can sit there you can see the road the bumbling truck that's probably for deliveries yes for deliveries <laughs> and yeah i thought i'd give her a new haircut <laughs> just because i was bored but here you have it i have managed to make this restaurant work and you know what would be so cool is if we could select the plot that we want to have parties at and then host a party. Can you imagine coming over to the restaurant? I want you all to come over to the restaurant. I want you all to come over to the Langrab Mansion. I want you to come over to uh, the beach house and so on. Anyway, there is a table in the VIP section that's become available. So Icon and Pekin are going to sit here and have a moment. How lovely, how lovely. Yes. <laughs> I wanted them to have drinks, but that option wasn't available. So they're kissing the air, which is really weird. Um, so let's see if I can get another option on those tables. Uh, yeah, there is another one. Let's see what the options are. Enjoy delicious dinner. Yes, I'd prefer that. So it's as though they can now enjoy a quiet meal. They're really happy. Just assume they never got to eat, really, in the real sense of the word. They were just trying to impress, you know, all the customers who came in. And now they're settling down to something delicious in this lovely private area set out for them by Ken Butler. I want to thank you so very much for watching. I'm going to go into build mode so you can see what the plot looks like and recreate it for yourself. Uh, let's just do that right now and you'll be surprised it's it's one of the easiest builds ever and um you know if you have already cleared a plot of land in your town then you can go ahead and have a restaurant um, one that you can you know play in the way i have bring in as many sims as possible it's a really lovely experience i have to say very simple plan you can see here um with the different shaped rooms and the top part is just a square <laughs> you don't need this to get any bigger you could put a room to the side near the piano uh, and make your butler live here if you want but no i just that means my main party mansion would be empty so i didn't want to do that okay thank you <laughs> thank you so much for watching i'm going to try and put my sims down to rest and yes i will see you again soon in the next video let me quickly collect my rewards it would be nice if we could get some restaurant items like the hostess stand you know and things like that <laughs> i think this game has a long way to go to have those kind of you know gameplay interactive pieces but yeah she's going to need a bath it's been a busy busy day let's call her husband over and let's get him to invite her to have a relaxing spa or bask in spa romance okay yeah i would absolutely love 
love a tub like this. This is so cute. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.